Okay, it is time for all the glitz, the glamour, and the tea, because it's piping hot in Hollywood. We've got plenty to talk about. Bob Barker, Beyonce, Dolly Parton, tons more. Yes, Renee DiNino is here with our Hollywood headlines. Renee? Hi, Renee. How are you? Good morning to the two of you who are doing fantastic. I'm actually in my studio, supposed to be working, but I'm watching you. Great job today. Oh, thank you. Nice to see you. Um, all right, so this is such sad news. Bob Barker passed away over the weekend. I mean, he was a huge animal advocate. That was like his tagline, make sure you spay and neuter your pets. Every, you know, when we stayed home as kids watching The Price is Right, that's, yep. that's what you remember. He hosted The Price is Right. So what, what's going on with Bob Barker? All right, so, and it's also important to know he passed away at the age of 99. Yeah, long so life. So he kept it under, he kept it under a, a, a dollar, so that was good, <laughs> um, so he could go on to the next thing. But here's the deal. He was such a huge animal advocate. I love Bob Barker so much. He decided, and he passed on National Dog Day, he decided to donate and leave the bulk of his estate to over 40 charities, many of which are animal advocacy groups like United Activists for Animal Rights Charity. Of course, Donkey Lang Rescue in Riverside, he and Betty White donated to them, and the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, as well as a bird conservatory, many, many, many more. He was a very uh, generous and philanthropic uh, public leader and speaker, uh, just a, a good, good man, and he cared about people and pets, so it was nice to see that he did that. Yeah, that's outstanding. I mean, what a, what, what a nice way to not only remember him but his legacy as well all right so this is all, this is a little bit of fun we're gonna switch topics a little bit because um, you know our friend Gail King yep. was all over social media for the last several days because she went to the Beyonce show and she was looking for an outfit so this is called the Beyonce challenge it's the Beyonce challenge it's silver Etsy has seen a 200% increase in sales for specifically designed silver sequins, metallic outfits, because Beyonce is encouraging everybody who goes to her show to wear silver of some sort. Amazon is seeing a wild increases in sales. And then there's another company, which I've never heard of. They're called Radiancy Designs. They've had a 400% boost in sales because of a football jersey that sells for $100, by the way. They cannot keep it in stock. So you're paying for the tickets, you're paying for your outfits, it and it's the experience of a lifetime the Beyonce challenge Wow it sounds well, like the beehive is buzzing yeah no kidding and it's this yes. like the thing everybody's dressing up for concerts and I am guilty of that all right what else is on, <laughs> <laughs> what else is on hey me plate? too I dressed up as the man for Taylor Swift <laughs> and I'm proud right. of it uh, Shakira is set to make history of course as the first South American recipient of MTV's Michael Jackson video Vanguard Award can you tell us a little bit more about our VMA no nominations I can. This is absolutely incredible. And it's also the first time that, um, well, I, I should say she's making history because she's the first South American recipient of this award. And of course, Shakira puts on a great show, as always. So she's going to receive that award. And also, she has won many VMA nominations and awards. And, and, and this year, guys, I'm so excited to tell you the women are taking it home at the VMEs. Women are killing it this year in general. The Artist of the Year nominees are all women. So I love this. Uh, the VMAs are set to air on September 12th, 8 p.m. on MTV. That's awesome. We we love that. All right. And speaking of a strong, powerful lady, Dolly Parton, we love her too. What's going on? I love Dolly Parton so much. Also, my dog Wolfgang has been outfitted in all Dolly Parton's dog wears, but that's another story. <laughs> right now, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that hot tea you were mentioning, yeah. uh, Caitlin. The hot tea actually didn't spill between Dolly Parton and Princess Kate Middleton because while she was there working in London, Parton received an invite to have tea with the royals, but she said no. <gasps> Who says no to the royals but Dolly Parton? And she's like, listen, I appreciate it maybe another time, but I'm very busy. And then she was joking, well, she wasn't going to support my rock album, so I couldn't make it. But she really, she she didn't say no because of any other reason. She just was too busy for the Royals. <laughs> busy working nine to five. There you go. I mean, I, I would have made some time to have sit down and have yeah. tea with Princess Catherine, but that's just <laughs> Dolly. D d listen, Dolly Parton is that status where she can I say know. no to anyone. True. She can True. do she can do whatever Dolly wants. All right, thanks, Renee. We'll catch up with you later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.
<laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. Great day at 9A. So Scott and Nicole both off again tomorrow. Mike and I will see you back here tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow, everybody.